Hello everyone, Marcus here. Welcome to Tesla Simplified. Today we're going to talk about the Tesla Semi. This is because the media and YouTubers have not talked about the biggest problem the Semi has in my opinion. Please make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below to help the channel and to make sure you don't miss future videos. So before we talk about the Semi, let's talk about what's going on, on YouTube. YouTubers are looking at the Tesla Semi all wrong, I think. Uh, it isn't competing with, the, with all semis in all situations. It's a first generation semi that competes with a diesel semi in most situations, not all. I can't emphasize this enough. YouTubers are taking the most extreme cold weather, uh, long haul, it's the most extreme uses of a semi and, and and asking the question if the if the Tesla semi competes with those, so if, of course it doesn't. It's it's a first generation truck, so no. Uh, the first Model S didn't compete with all sedans in all situations, only with luxury sedans for people who didn't travel very far from home. This is because the supercharger network wasn't in place, so the first semi version is for companies only, companies with set routes. And in the next few years, it will be sold to single drivers and later to companies who need to run the truck 24-7. Now, uh, first, let's talk about the range, battery degradation, buffer, and cold weather, which a lot of uh, YouTube channels have not talked about. So just to run it really quickly. Uh, the Semi is supposed to have uh, 500 miles of range when it's new. It uh, likely has more than that at around 535 miles of range. Now, if you take 10% uh, degradation, that, that mileage goes to 483 miles. Now, what's 10% degradation? Degradation is what happens to all batteries of the type that is in, the, in the, the, the semi. And, you know, my car already lost 8% after 20,000 miles, about a year uh, of driving. And... Uh, I expect the semi to lose about the same. Now, with, the, with this degradation, it, it's not a problem because it levels off after around 10% um, to 250, 300,000 miles. Uh, it will stay at about 10%. So it's, it's definitely not a problem. You just lose uh, the 10% in the beginning, and then uh, it, you don't lose much after that. So that's not a problem, but you do lose, lose 10%. Everyone uh, buying a car should know that. Uh, if you're buying a car with 330 uh, miles of range, you're only going to have about 300 and change uh, after the, the degradation. So, uh, so the the truck will have 483 miles of range uh, when you charge to 100 percent after that that the, the degradation. Uh, so you can also only use between about 10 and 10 and 90 percent of the battery. So, so you need that buffer to keep the battery healthy. So if you take into account uh, 10 to 90%, you're only going to have a 386 miles of range, uh, of usable range, uh, if you want to keep your battery healthy um, for the semi-truck. Uh, mind you, we started with 535. Now we have 386 of usable range. You can obviously use 483, uh, but you shouldn't be using that all the time. So 386 is what, you, uh, what you're left with. And it goes down to 347 in cold weather or in, uh, in rain. So, um, so, so that's the range. And if you, if you give yourself 30 minutes of charging, which truck drivers have to stop for 30 minutes. Uh, they're humans. They have to go to the restroom. They have to, uh, to, uh, to eat and stuff. And they, uh, by law, they have to stop uh, for 30 minutes. So you started with 386 miles and you add another 350 as per Tesla uh, with a 30 minute stop. You have 736 miles of range. 
with 736 miles, that's more than most drivers will be able to drive in a day. Um, most drivers will drive about 700 miles a day. Yeah, in cold weather, it'll come down to 625, but that's still very close to 700. And uh, considering all the savings that the truck uh, will have, um, I think this will be fine when, uh, when it's in cold weather. So, so that's, that's the reality of the truck. Um, the numbers that we know of, uh, for sure today. Now, the real problem with the truck, in my view, and no one has talked about it, is the constant supercharging. If the battery, the battery that the truck uses is constantly supercharged every day, day in, day out, um, it'll die quickly. There, there's been reports of uh, Model 3 batteries that are dead after 140,000 miles of uh, supercharging. Mind you, the, the owner of this car only supercharged the entire life of the vehicle. So the vehicle only got 140,000 miles. He was told that if he had uh, charged the battery overnight, um, instead of the overnight, he would have uh, gotten a lot further with this battery. But I think we all understand that the semi is a different kind of truck. It's a different kind of vehicle. Um, we don't know if it's going to be possible to, uh, to level two charge these trucks for uh, for 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 business for the work that the truck has to do. So, is that you know is that going to be a huge problem? No, no one's talking about it. No one says anything about it. So that's that's we need to we need to find out from Tesla what's going on. Uh, if someone constantly supercharges the truck, what happens to the battery? And but again, this the, the constant supercharging may not be a problem because you know a lot of these companies they don't run the truck 24/7. So they a lot of these trucks will sit um, overnight um, in a in a warehouse um, and they can be charged uh, slower overnight. And it'll that way it'll probably be fine. So it just won't be able to. If I you know were to answer my own question, they don't have to be charged. Uh, they don't have to be constantly supercharging. Uh, and uh, and as long as they're they're charged overnight, the batteries will be fine. Um, but that is something that. Uh, People should know, and that is something that um, Tesla should be telling telling people before uh, they buy this truck. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, please like and subscribe if this video uh, was informational. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.